This is my property, and if you look at the stairs, you will see that the railing, iron railing, is missing. That's because the railing was rusted, the base of it, and as a result, I had to remove it. In this video, I will show you how to reinstall the iron railing back to the stair. Here what we're doing, we are drilling the base of the iron railing with a diamond bead, special drill, uh, I believe it's actually 2 inch diameter. So what we can see here that we are using water to cool the diamond drill. We will drill 3 to 4 inch deep and then we set the post of the railing into this hole. So here is the wall, it's the hole that you can see here and here. And now what we're going to do, we're going to remove the piece of metal or the piece of uh, road that are inside these holes. What we are doing here, we're actually welding the railing, piece of the railing was broken, we're actually welding it. But as you can see, we also uh, welded a new base to the railing. The base of the railing, all of them were rotten, so we have to cut them with a the saw and weld a new one. We already set one railing to its position temporarily, and now we are setting the other railing to its position. Just bear in mind that the railing have a new base or a new post. The old base were rusted, and as a result, we have to cut the old base and put a new one, weld the new one. So we're using Rastolin to see to paint, to put a coat, primary coat, on the road here. So here what I'm doing is I'm actually paint with a clean primer from metal and the new base of the iron rail. This is very important, otherwise it will rust it after a number of years. Now with, with, what we're doing now, we're attaching the railing to the house wall, like you see here. See with the special screws. This is the screws actually we're using here, you can see them here. So look at, look at that dead stuff here. You can see all of them are in. You see these two rods are inside 4 inches inside these holes. Now here is a special situation, we're going to weld it here, you can see what we're going to do. Because there's some kind of repair what happened before, let me show you. Here we are welding an iron bar to the base of the railing. So what we're doing now, we're actually putting the second railing and we're attaching it to the wall of the house here, to the house with screws. And here you can see it's not still yet in the hole. So now what I'm doing, I'm using 
this prime, okay, the primer, Rastolin, clear coat, clean metal. Okay, so I'm going to use another coat here. Even if it's inside, just to make sure, you have to use two coats. It is not going to be rusted. After I put in two coat of clean metal, I'm going to use the universal stain paint and primer on the road to make it 100% proof from rusted. The new railing base were already painted with a clear primer and I'm going to put the top coat for better protection. You see this piece we had it here because we have a special situation here but this this kind of things is a can be rusted very quick so you have really to put quite a two coat here white coat let me show you how I'm doing it just put quite a big amount of it from all direction Same thing here. Here we are mixing the concrete or the cement. It's called hankering cement. What will happen here is that this concrete, when it pours to the hole, it will expand and slowly cure. After one hour, it will be strong, but you have to leave it for 24 hours. As you can see, we are pouring the concrete cement into all the holes where the base of the railing is located. The concrete cement should be filled the hole. Remember, it's a four inch deep. That's called an anchoring cement. So the job is finished, I just want to say a couple of words on it. Here we have special situation, so we need to put a rod inside this uh, hole here, in both cases here. Okay, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing see, is this uh, kind of uh, concrete that we pour inside the holes, it takes like one hour to get hardened. But really it's nice to leave it like for 24 hours. That's um, anchoring, anchoring uh, cement that we put here. So the other thing you can see here, the railing, is that's the old railing, is very rusted. So we're going to actually uh, use a grinder to clean the railing and uh, painting it. Let me go upstairs and show you what's happening here. Here we already put it inside the road like just remember we cutting we cut the old uh, road and we put uh, we actually welded a new road inside we put two coat of primer a clean primer and then we put the uh, color the brown color that actually protected from uh, rusted here is the same thing we're doing it still have to add the rusted coat here um, and here we actually attach it, uh, the railing to the wall of the house with screws, as you can see. That's what it used to be before. So we leave this uh, railing for at least 24 hours and then we can come back and see the results.